cyclone is brewing in the state's northwest. Sherry, it could affect Perth later in the week. Well, Natalia, it is really early to confirm exactly where this system will end up. But what I can tell you is that it is likely to develop into a Category 1 cyclone tomorrow afternoon, around 900 kilometres northwest of Exmouth. It's tracking parallel along the coast and it could pack winds to 125 kilometres an hour before downgrading to a low again on Wednesday. But some models are demonstrating that it will track in a southwesterly direction toward the shores of Perth this time next week. Now, the next cyclone will be called Charlotte, but in the meantime, Perth will be soaking up 30-degree days this week, and I'll have those forecast details coming up very soon, Natalia. Thanks, Sherry. Shorter from here with the autumn equinox, Natalia, but this week we'll be soaking up the sunshine, the mercury heading into the 30s from Thursday. I'll have all the details coming up soon. Welcome back. Well, if you were south of Perth early this morning, you might have seen a flash of lightning or heard a roll of thunder. The storms cleared very quickly, though, leaving us with cloud and some sunny breaks. In the city, we reached a top of 28 degrees around lunchtime. Now, those storms ran along a trough line today, right down into the Great Southern. But hot air ahead of that system pushed the mercury up to 38 degrees in Kalgoorlie, which is 8 degrees above the March average. And that tropical low northwest of Karatha is likely to develop into a Category 1 cyclone by tomorrow afternoon. The system, though, could potentially head toward the southwest of the state and the tracking is unclear at this point, but Perth could be in the firing line. Meanwhile, skies are clearing on the east coast, heading for a top of 29 degrees in Brisbane. Patchy cloud in Sydney, a top of 25. Overcast and foggy to start in Melbourne, clearing to a sunny afternoon, though, and heading for a top of 27. Looking west again and staying mostly dry across the north for now, 35 degrees in Broome. And if we track south, morning showers are forecast for Albany, heading for a top of 20 degrees there, and possibly a storm for Esperance, adding up to 5 mil to the gauge. It's getting a bit gusty out on Perth local waters. Tomorrow, a southerly will pick up to 30 knots in the morning, and seas and swell both sitting over 2 metres. And this is how we'll be kicking off the working week around town. 28 degrees in Joondalup, Ocean Reef right the way down to, right down the coast to Mandra, a bit of patchy cloud around and a relatively mild morning at 17 degrees. We should hit a top of 29, but at the time it will feel closer to 25 degrees. It's warming up to 31 by Thursday, 34 on Friday, and showers are forecast over the weekend, all dependent on where the remnants of that cyclone tracks. But something else worth noting, at 2am tomorrow morning, we'll transition through the autumn equinox, where our days and nights is of equal length. So now we'll start seeing less daylight from here and winter isn't too far away, Natalia. Yeah, I've definitely noticed the daylight thing. It's uh, <laughs> sad as we head towards winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Sherry.